welcome back to another video of Scrap Mechanic. Today I'll be showing you this awesome sculpture I made, and a kinetic sculpture as it's called. It's a uh, Theo Jansen, I think, it uh, inv invented it. And um, basically, this 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 thing walks. This this is amazing. All loose bearings and stuff, and this middle part it spins around and it makes these parts move in specific directions and. Well, I just need to show you this thing because it's so damn awesome. And um, as you can see, this thing can walk properly. Oh, wait, it should walk properly. Ah, come on. Okay, so this thing can walk and yeah, as you can see, it's pretty smooth, and um, yeah, it can also walk backwards. Oh, let's. It's a, a bit too fast, but yeah, we can configure that, so no problems. It sometimes does a. Yeah, see the the front legs are sometimes not touching the ground, but yeah, whatever. We can also steer with the rockets, and um, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Let's. Um, let it walk on its own by disconnecting this and putting it on a bearing. And basically, this this engine is not needed. And uh, yeah, it can uh, s it walks pretty smooth. I think it's very stable for walking on four legs instead of six because this thing normally needs six legs. But uh, yeah, it all, well, it it isn't looking great if it has six. And um, and yeah, it uh, it works pretty smooth. And I had some trouble in the beginning with these triangles because uh, about a week ago I made a working design, but yeah, I had many troubles. And yeah, I scrapped the design and I came up with this one. And it has a unique ability to transform before getting in position and this this little thing right here transforms it this goes 80 uh, 180 degrees and that makes it so it's able to go bulk properly but it also makes it able to have straight beams because these are really neat and this is the only mechanism you can have with straight beams otherwise you would need to have some yeah, some magic stuff happening there, and yeah, it, it transforms so quickly. Just let's put it somewhat slower, and I'll do a tutorial for you guys on the end of this video because yeah, I really need to show how I did this thing, and um, yeah, okay, so let's jump in the tutorial after. Letting it walk for a bit. Yeah, it's so awesome. You'll probably see many YouTubers use some of these designs. Because, yeah, this, this is just amazing. Um, so, whoa. <laughs> is it going to do a backflip? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, it doesn't really like hills. Okay, so let's jump into the tutorial. Let's load up a new map. Um, Walker. A flat world, so it walks really well. But I'll simplify this one because, yeah, I want to make it short and these corner pieces, they took a lot of time. Um, okay, so the basically the um, magic number in this build is 12. You build this 12 out, but if you want to count it block by block, that takes too long. So we'll just make it a complete stack that's 16 long and then remove 4 and we get 12. You can also do it with another number, but you would need to have, um, yeah, you would need to calculate some other stuff because this middle part that is coming right here, it will need to be modified a little bit and 
doesn't need to be out of stone, but whatever. Um, you'll want to add this spring over here and add two more springs to the sides. And it goes down like this and down like this. Of course, this isn't um, connected to the gather, so we'll need to weld it. And let's take the welding tool. And... Oh my god. This thing is so awesome. The welding tool. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've waited so long for this update. It's just. It's only sadly they um, broke the multiplayer system, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so you've raised this up, and then you need to add the middle part. It will be four up, so it won't touch the mid. Yeah, it won't touch the stone parts. And we'll add a bearing over here and the little system that makes it transform over here and yeah that's pretty much it add two blocks the same on the other part except for this bearing because it's already in the correct position on this side and you do need to add this bearing though oh wait and on this side the same yes and add two blocks and then we'll start with the legs. Um, I'm not going to start from the middle because it's the most difficult part. Um, let's just add seven blocks over here so you can make it wider, but well, seven makes it just enough so it won't tip and it won't uh, make too wobbly and stuff. So seven blocks and seven blocks on this side too. Seven blocks. That's too many. Seven blocks. Oh, also too many. And then the legs. Add all those bearings. And we'll start with the top of the legs. We'll add this and this. Remove four blocks of each. And the same on all the other legs. Okay, and when that is done, you can add corner pieces right over here, but this will be a little time consuming. And yeah, it, it's just for the look, so we'll. You could do it, but well, it's not for this video. I don't have much time. And yeah. Um, okay, then add these parts. It's our squares so these also need to be 12 long and you need to do it on every leg okay when that is done you need to connect all these by just simply dragging them like that and connecting them and the same on the other sides two bearings a block like that, a block like that, and connect them. When that is done, you need to extend these because these are the triangles you will welcome. And 16 down, minus 4, 12, 16 down, minus 4. You can make it a bit longer, but well. It's not really necessary. And also if you make it too long, then is this is this Yeah okay. Um if you make it too long the front legs might hit the back legs when retracting. So yeah, just just stick with the magic number twelve. Then when this is done you can start with the middle. You saw in the video I used corner pieces but these corner pieces aren't actually necessary. You can also do it out of straight beams like this. And then add a bearing right there. And a block. And a beam like that. And if you connect these. These are basically the same as these corner pieces. Because if you do it like 
this and you spam click it. Well, it's, it's spam clicking will only work on this side because on all the other sides it will uh, it won't work. And basically you have the beam right there, but yeah, if I do it on the other side right here, if you can see it so like this and if I do it like this then yeah it, it won't be able to spam click it and you need to ra rotate it and then rotate it again and rotate it oh wrong button and rotate it and it takes a lot of time but yeah if you shift scroll it's a, a trick I found it's shift scroll scroll down scroll up scroll down scroll up scroll down then you can do it way faster and why is it not the same um i think that one is a bit larger let's just add extra two blocks because this is aligned and it looks good so Let's just make everything one longer. And like this. And it should work out. Yes, it does. And let's connect these two. And that is basically the thing for the front, uh, for the upper two parts. And you need to do the same on the other side as well. Um, yeah, raise this up the map. Yes, it's too big now. Well, we can do it like this. Without breaking anything. Yeah, doesn't really matter if this is somewhat higher, but whatever. Um. Okay, so the bearing is added. Oh, I don't really need the bearing, but whatever. Let's... Uh, we started with this side. I think, yeah, whatever. And is spam clicking allowed? No, why? We'll just do this side. And then two blocks like that and spam click it. Oh, and now we have the well tool. We can just do this. Bang it and come on, come down. Oh my god. Stop thing. And then we take it with the welding tool and we can just connect it over here and it's way faster. And apparently I did something wrong. Okay, whatever. We'll just we'll just connect this to this and we'll make this the, the next part and this will be is it correct oh yes okay um, no problem and then connect these and click spam and then connect it okay now only these two are left and let's add these two Let's just add the bearing and we can see this is on the same level as the middle thing. So yeah, we'll just do it like this. Um, I won't do the corner pieces this time, it doesn't really matter and it's just a waste of time. Okay, like that and... Oh, wrong. And like this and then we... Could use, you, we could do it on the same side, but these two will collide, and um, yeah, we don't want that to happen, so let's do it like this, and connect these two, and then the same for this side, bang bang, and now only this is left to do. And then basically your structure is done.
you can add these corner pieces right there and there for the looks but it isn't really necessary also here for the looks but it, it isn't necessary and yeah just do it when you have time let's add a seat and also a controller and we'll put it right over here so it's out of the way and first off these two will be the control the two bearings that will move you and we can connect it to the seat and they code 180 that's just fast enough to not flip it and we need to make the magic bearings right over here these go also 180 so it's really simple everything goes 180 it doesn't really matter what direction they all go it <laughs> it's just also almost no configuration it's just so awesome and yeah it's done you have your Theo Jensen walker your uh, kinetic walker it's that simple and uh, if you want to add steering to it it's also really easy you can just add a bearing right over here it doesn't really matter where and connect put these two detectors on it for detecting left and right um, and add rockets rockets, rockets here they are bam bam and rockets over here oh seat is in the way whatever and connect this to this and other side for the other direction okay is let's check left no that's wrong wrong way click and that's fixed and now we can walk and go left and if you crank up the engine that uh, the jets even more you can um, walk and steer even better so um, this was it this is the awesome Theo Jensen walker um, also called strand beast in uh, Dutch if you want to do it with uh, <laughs> if you want to do it with uh, the same accent then you call it strand beast <laughs> and yeah well, that's it this is an uh, awesome creation I want to show you guys and uh, thanks for watching the video if you like this video press that like button if you want to see more of my creations don't forget to subscribe and um, that's it see you in the next one bye